بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر خورم شہزاد اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ڈفرنس بٹوین کنسیپچوئل اینڈ تھیوریٹیکل فریم ورک اگین واٹ آئی ہیو نوٹسڈ از دیٹ دیٹ مینی اسٹوڈینٹس ایون سم آف دی ٹیچرس دے get confused when people ask them a question that what is your conceptual framework when you are doing your research or what is your theoretical framework even some of the students when they are presenting their synopses so teachers they ask them this question that what is the theoretical framework you have already explained the kinds of ideas they are well elaborated but the theoretical framework is missing and then students they get confused it becomes difficult for them to explain that what is their theoretical framework or what is their conceptual framework for this i have discussed my understanding with some of my colleagues and teachers for example i am very thankful to professor dr jamil asghar jami and i am very thankful to professor dr fozia janjua that they also shared their understanding with me and we agreed on certain points and we also had some of the uh, disagreements when i was discussing these things with them but anyways i am going to share that what are the things that we have agreed so i have read different scholars who have a great name and they have talked about conceptual framework but usually when we come across these books or these scholars we have found that most of the people they think that conceptual framework and theoretical framework is one or the same thing and some of the people when they talk about conceptual framework they explain the concept of theory they explain the different kinds of variables and constructs and then the constructs okay that how they take up the shape and then in sequence in the form of propositions they are explained in theoretical framework so i am going to take the stance given by sharon ravitch and uh, ragan so ragan and ravitch they have said that conceptual framework is a kind of superstructure it and encom- in encompasses variables it encompasses research methodology it encompasses your theoretical framework and it encompasses okay how you are going to analyze the data so conceptual framework means that how you are going to conceptualize your theory how you are going to conceptualize your whole research that what is the topic that you are going to do your research on of course the kind of questions that you have taken previously the people who came before you they have also thought about those questions they have also thought about those variables they have also thought about those concepts that we or you as students are thinking about them now so it is very good that you read their researches you read that what kind of paths they have taken how the other people they have conceptualized their researches and how they have collected the data and how they have analyzed the data and what are their findings so you can take help from them so in this way even some of the people when they are talking about conceptual framework or theoretical framework they talk about literature review and they think that literature review is one of the uh, conceptual frameworks which helps you to carry out your research which is a little bit different from their researches but according to ravitch and rigan they argue that a conceptual framework both shapes the design and direction of your study and guides its development so conceptual framework is going to design 
it is going to help you to take so that you should be able to take your direction so far as your study is concerned we unpack and explore the roles and uses of conceptual frameworks across the various phases of research and show that what you learn in the field in turn feeds back into your conceptual framework allowing you to integrate it into your overall understanding of the topic design research methods and presentation of findings so up till now i have talked about that conceptual framework is a superstructure remember that how you are going to conceptualize the problem that we, which is under investigation how you are going to raise your research questions how you are going to talk about your objectives of the study and accordingly what kind of research approach or research method you are going to take you are going to conceptualize all of them so there are three views which are usually presented by different scholars some view it as a purely visual representation of a studies organization or major theoretical tenets so some of the people they think that the visual representation of the steps that you are going to take and how you are going to re represent it on a piece of paper that is conceptual framework and some of the people will say narratively through verbal data how you are going to enlist all the steps that you are going to take this is the conceptual framework such a representation is usually included within one's literature review generally as a stand alone figure or as an appendix a second perspective treats conceptual and theoretical framework as essentially the same thing as with theoretical frameworks the meaning of conceptual frameworks in this sense depends entirely on what one means by theory as we argue in this chapter a problem can arise when researchers are vague about such definitions as conceptual or theoretical frameworks in this sense can refer to either off the shelf formal theory or existing theory or in formal theories so some of the people they think that conceptual framework and theoretical framework is one and the same thing then there is third view third view sees the conceptual framework as a way of thinking all the elements of the research process researcher interests and goals researcher's identity and positionality that you are going to take in your work context and setting macro versus micro formal and informal theory and methods and it is this view that comes closest to our definition so i personally believe that conceptual framework is a superstructure and as my discussion with dr jameel and dr fozia they also believe that conceptual framework is a superstructure which in encompasses your variables your theoretical framework your research questions your research methodology that overall how you are going to do you are going to carry out your research so for me a conceptual framework is an argument of course you develop your argument when you talk about the research problem you develop your argument that this is the research problem accordingly the kind of gap that you have identified you have raised certain research objectives and research questions and then accordingly you are going to take an approach it can be a quantitative approach or qualitative approach or even a mixed method approach and then under this approach you are going to design you are going to take the research method so the argument is why the topic one wishes to study it matters and why the means proposed to the study are appropriate and rigorous by argument 
I mean to say a conceptual framework which is a series of sequenced logical propositions the purposes of which is to ground the study and convince the readers of the study's importance and rigor. Arguments for why a study matters vary greatly in scale depending on the audience. In some scholarly work, the study may only matter to a small esoteric community, but that does not change the fact that its conceptual framework should argue for its relevance within the community. And by appropriate and rigorous, I mean to say that a conceptual framework should argue convincingly that a research question, the research questions are that an outgrowth of the argument for relevance. The research design maps into the study, onto the study, goals, questions, and context. The data to be collected provide the researcher with the raw material needed to explore the research questions and the analytic approach allows the researcher to effectively address those questions. So I have talked about that there are different views on conceptual and theoretical framework. For some of the people, conceptual framework is the literature review. For some of the people, conceptual framework is the same as theoretical framework. But for me, conceptual framework is a broader term. It is a superstructure. And under this superstructure, you are going to build your argument. How you have conceived the phenomena, how you have conce conceived the whole proposition that you are presenting, and then the research problem that you have identified, the research gap that you have identified, and on the basis of those, this research gap, the kind of questions, the kind of objectives that you have developed, and how you are going to address those research questions, what kind of way, direction you are going to take, will it be a qualitative approach or quantitative approach or mixed method approach that you are going to utilize? And under qualitative or quantitative approach, what kind of research method you are going to use? Will it be a case study? Will it be an explorative study? Will it be an experimental study? Will it be an evaluative study? What kind of research method you are going to take? How you are going to conceptualize the whole thing? And then the kind of theoretical framework that you have taken, which will help you to operationalize the construct, the variables, which is going to help you to collect the data, which is going to help you to analyze the data. For example, under one subject, you can have multiple theories. So how you are going to conceptualize those theories? Are you going to take only one theoretical framework or are you going to take multiple frameworks and you are going to make your own framework? How you are going to conceptualize different kinds of theories? Theories, they are usually well tested. Theories, are you going to test those theories or you are going to apply those theories in your research? For example, in my evaluative research, I conceptualized that for the development of uh, discourse competence, I took common European framework of reference as my theoretical framework. So I read different kinds of people like Dal Himes, like Batchman and Palmer, like Sels Marcia, and I saw that how they have theorized the idea of communicative competence or discourse competence. And then one by one, I operationalized the concept of sociolinguistic competence, pragmatic competence, cultural competence, and discourse competence. So that theoretical framework helped me to understand that how I am going to develop my questionnaire, how I am going to ask questions to my uh, participants of the study and then how I am going to analyze my data. So theoretical framework is just one component of conceptual framework. 
conceptual framework is overall structure how you are conceptualizing the complete study that you are going to conduct what are your variables what are your constructs how you are going to talk about those variables or constructs what is the research gap what kind of questions you are raising and what kind of questions you are going to answer and then according to those research questions what kind of theoretical framework you are taking which is going to help you for your study for example for the collection of the data or for the analysis of the data so theories they have got different categorizations they deal with different kinds of concepts constructs and variables systematically so of course when you use those theories they help you to collect the data and analyze the data but all of these things are conceptualized according to the conceptual framework that you have taken up so your conceptual framework is a bigger term here you will find all kinds of variables how you are going to treat them how you are going to deal with the constructs how you are going to theorize the research problem how you are going to write your or develop your research question and accordingly what kind of research method or research approach you are going to take so you are conceptualizing them and then how you are going to analyze the data so theoretical framework is just one component of the conceptual framework so this is how uh, i believe that now you are able to understand the difference between conceptual framework and theoretical framework thank you very much